welcome to your February. Yes, February. 2020, this is going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hello, Leo. If you have been keeping up with me, you already have heard. I have been having an experiencing um, computer um, issues, connectivity issues, which has affected my uploading. So unfortunately, with the outages that was down in my area that has affected me for the last couple of days, I could not get these uploaded in enough time because I couldn't do it. So it made no sense to record something that I couldn't upload. So I focused my energy on other things like my clients and other stuff because I was completely disabled. Not only was it an issue with um, uploading and connectivity, my editor was crashing. So I had to do some work around. So if some of the videos look a little bit different this week, that's why. Thank you for your time. Leo, you came in eighth place. Okay. We're going to be examining... Um, closing you out in the month of February with your partner's energy, finding out what they're not telling you or what they didn't tell you last week. Um, it's just Sunday, March the 1st, so it could be that they still haven't told you. <laughs> just saying, okay? Thank you for allowing me to sip my coffee. I had to wake up bright and early in the morning so I could finish these. It's taking a long time to upload anything. Um, the internet outage in the area is still pretty much affecting um, what's being done. So these are being uploaded um, right now. They're being recorded at the top of the morning. It is a possibility, though, that you won't see them <laughs> until later on tonight. So I'm sorry. That's just what's going on in this area. All right. The energy for the week is being influenced by courage. I find inner strength to face fear with confidence. There we go again in our fear den. Someone is afraid. All right. We will get the other two of those cards. In a second, we're going to be again examining the energy that surrounded you guys that closed this week out. The official time frame was as indicated on the video. Okay. It was the 23rd through the 29th. These would have been uploaded last night. So uh, thank you for all of my new eyes and ears. If you're new here with me, thank you. Thank you for stopping by and allowing me to go through this word with you. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to my tribe, and what's good with the fam bams? How are you? Hello to my members. I love you guys. If you are connecting with Taurus, Libra, and Capricorn, Leo, you can go ahead and watch those videos, which are uploaded on the channel right now, as well as their extensions. Due to my connectivity issues, unfortunately, Gemini and Cancer, who was supposed to be extended, could not be extended because I wanted to put my energy into putting all of the content up. So I apologize. But their regular videos are up, just it hasn't been extended. All right, Universe Spirit Angels and my guys, go ahead and lift the beautiful Leos and their partners up in spirit. Let us know what they encountered last week. What they didn't tell their partner, please. What didn't they tell the, the Leos last week? Well, there definitely was some arguing going on with the Knight of Swords. And boy, did they tell you. Whatever it was, they definitely told you, Leo. <laughs> Whether they told you right. Or whether you understood it through all of the yelling and screaming, I don't know. But they definitely told you. There's a fear here. Remember, this is being influ influenced by the blockage of courage. So they're afraid. <laughs> they're not facing their fear. So it's probably coming out in the way that they're speaking to you. Uh-huh. Yeah, that tried to come out. I'm going to take it. More air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the Three of Swords. What in the hell happened? There is a heartbreak. They feel like you've caused, Leo. Show me what they're not telling Leo here. Thank you. Uh-huh. That in the heart of the matter, they wanted to keep going. What is this? You broke their heart, Leo. They're telling you that you make me very happy, although you drive me nuts. This is the card of the sun, the happiest card on the deck, your major arcana, Leo, okay? But this is also the energy of the nine of wands in their heart. 
you drove me nuts. I am the wounded warrior. I'm beat, battered, and bruised, but I had a little bit more stamina. I can still keep going. Let's find out what else. I can still keep going. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy, I've already told you. With that heart of the matter, show me, spirit. What else? Justice is so popular. That's my fear, Dan. I already told you I found confidence to face fear with courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. I just changed it. But it is the courage card. Well, this is the Eight of Swords. That's the fear den. What does that mean, Marv? Well, they created a den, a man cave, or a she shed, a fear, where they can go and comfort themselves. It's all mental. That's also justice. More air. What is going on with all these air signs? Well, Mercury is in retrograde. So, Leo, you could be connecting with Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Okay, definitely. Give me the last card. Justice, they feel like, okay, so there has been some secrets. Oh, here we go. So it is a possibility that they went in and took refuge in their, in their man cave or she shed. And as a result of their coping mechanism and went in there to hide out, they did not come out in enough time. There, there is something that they feel like you've done that broke their heart, Leo. And as a result of that, they would like they would have liked for things to be fair. Um, but there were a lot of secrets. There were a lot of juggling. This is high priestess. So there was not enough using of the intuition here. And there was some juggling going on. Let's get the rest of the... All right. So you guys, your partner wants a new beginning with you with the world. And they want to talk to you about it. This is the top of the deck energy. Okay. This is the world or a new abundant beginning. So it's going to get complicated because the person is going to come and they want you back. Yes, you guys broke up. Yes, they wanted to explore being single by themselves. But you moved on possibly. Um, it was a tremendous burden. Okay. It was just too much of a heavy load. Let's go to the bottom for a second. So, yes, there was an energy of separating for a while, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles, these are two major arcana. First and foremost, this is Eight of Cups, which means that you walked away or your partner walked away. So, either one of you guys or you guys uh, separated. This isn't a firm breakup, though. I tell people all the time. They, they, it's normally how I resonate with this card is... You walked away from something that no longer served you because it didn't serve you. Not that you don't love it because eight cups are stacked up. You just stacked them up on the shelf and had to take a break. So I went, this is, yes, walking away, but it's not a full breakup like a tower. I don't resonate. And then how it's aspected also uh, gives me a telltale sign. They walked away and they're heartbroken, but they felt like they needed to for whatever reason. We'll get some more clues here, okay? Um, this is hermit energy. When they walked away, they just wanted to be by themselves for a little while. Maybe not call you for a couple days, you know, but it's one of those uh, Jay-Z moments. Uh, I, I was going to get right back. I was just talking to them girls. You know what I'm saying? It was. This isn't a full breakup. But, Leo, you don't have a problem with finding somebody else. And it looked like that's what you did. Um, you guys discussed it, but maybe it wasn't clear communication because something I, first of all, I know that there was a clear communication because the moon is involved. So there were some things that was hidden and we got the high priestess. So there was some, I'm breaking up with you, but I really don't want you to move on. Who tells somebody that? But honestly, you get points if you are honest. Listen, I just need, I need a little time. Clearly communicate that type of stuff because sometimes that little time is actually going to see other people or pursue something which would be unfair. But I feel like this person had unrealistic expectations of what you were supposed to do while they figured it out, Leo. Um, and, and, and normally in situations like this, the other person does not want to break up. So um, hermit in the moon. Peak of the past here. So 
this wasn't a full breakup to them, but like I say all the time, if we break up and we don't talk for a week, or we break up and we're talking and I'm giving you some time a couple of days, my rule of thumb for me personally is about three good days. But if we're going months without talking, it's fair game. Like, that's not fair. You can't not communicate and then expect the person to read your mind. Get out of this fear den. Okay? Uh, two eights. That's distance. No. Power struggle. So that was what, yes, that was what the main issue was between you guys. There was always a power struggle of who was going to lead and who was going to follow. Leo, you definitely um, are the leader. You like to be in control. You are fixed fire. Everybody knows that. But this person that you're dealing with, there's a lot of swords. There's a little bit of element of air here as well. They can have earth in their chart, but I don't really feel like it. I see fire, earth, and I see one cup card. Just one. And that is the one that says I need to get away. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Wedding. All right. Well, that's strange. There's our separation. That doesn't make any sense to me. I might have to clarify that. And flirt. Here we go again, Leo. If I get one more, one more card in your energy talking about how you flirt too much. What was last week's, Leo? It was... And you guys got a kick out of that, too. You be like, well, first of all, Marv, I'm a natural flirt and blah, blah, blah. What did I name it? They're extremely jealous and don't trust you. Okay, you got double trust that came out in the blockages. So this is the flirt. Flirt is here again. Flirt is here. So um, the energy that's surrounding this is that this energy right here needs to be freed. You need to walk away from the burden. The person, um, Leo, felt like they needed to unburden themselves. But yes, they were extremely insecure. On, uh, insecure. They were extremely immature on how they handled it. You have to be honest. But it's the possibility that they were too hurt to express themselves, okay? Um, what they would like to do is come back towards you. They don't like the fact that you're with someone else right now. This is the world. Um, they're possibly going to want to take a trip. I wouldn't be surprised if they say something like, Leo, I'm tired of this. Let's just go get married. I read that energy in another reading where you guys are separated and someone just decides that's it we're going to get married just as a piece so that's what this could be as well wedding is here which explains it and puts a new spin on what they actually want um maybe um they didn't want to get married before now they do i'm just saying they wanted to experience what it was like to be Single with the nine of pentacles in the bottom of the deck energy. The separation just took place. But it's like I say, going back to that. No one, going back to the timeline. We don't talk for months and months and, and the last thing we said was F you and F you. Okay, cool. If that's how we're leaving it, that's not really closure. But if that's how we're leaving it, then okay. I mean, but, and we don't talk for two months. How is that a relationship? But that's not what this is. This was, uh, we're arguing all the time. We need to take a break. You guys definitely have done this before. Um, but now I see that marriage is coming through. Maybe they were afraid to get married. But back to the point. Leo, if you can move on that, that quickly, then you were talking to that person the entire time. That's what's dangerous about it. And that's what, that's what is probably um, this three of swords is for. Now, I wasn't there. I didn't have the conversation with you guys. I didn't hear anything about the breakup. I wasn't there. Um, but <laughs> you cannot love a person. I'm, I'm sorry. You can blame it on my crap. But I'm, I, I, I am, listen, when it comes down to my beliefs, you, you, you're fixed fire. 
and I have fixed Earth and 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 my um, Mars. <laughs> so I'm with you, but I'm gonna tell you, and you may not like this. If you love somebody the way that you say that you do, and there is a break, I'm not talking about three, four, five, six, seven months. I'm not suggesting that anyone put their life on hold, but this just happened. If, even if it's a couple of weeks, if you're trying to reach out to the person and doing your part responsibly, then do what you have to do. But if you went in your corner and they went in their corner and this is a pattern, and it isn't clearly defined what you are, and you knew that you had somebody on the sidelines, it was incumbent upon you then, Leo, to be honest about that. Now, if the circumstances are not as outlined, it doesn't qualify for, my, for, for what I'm saying. But this person feels like if you moved on, then this, you were talking to that person anyway. Flirting is here, again, in your energy for the second week. So there's a flirtatious aspect, and that means that one of those flirts, you got, you got serious. So they feel like that they can be abundant with you. This is the blockage, and this is what they're not telling you. And it is evidence than the fact that, hey, they want to get married. Now, it could have been a possibility that, oh, two. All right, sorry. Death again. Oh, my God. More Scorpio energy. And another confirmation that this was a separation. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. That is not breakup. See? Relationships, they popped out at the same time. Look at that. I am attracted to those who serve my higher good and forgive me. This is what they were hoping the separation was going to do. I acknowledge in that harbor resentment blocks the flow of love. That's what they thought was going to happen. And you wasn't trying to hit that. You moved on. The, the scary part about it is, is that if you have an ego, <laughs> like we know you do, Leo, um, someone can appeal to your ego um, and you will take that. But that's not hitting you in the heart space so just make sure that if you did move on you did it based on a genuine love for the person or interest and want to give them a chance and not your desire for your ego to be fed because the ego is not going to take care of you when you get old and gray love is okay sorry that little tidbit let's find out what the angels have to say Got a whole nother card. I do that all the time. I'm sorry. Thoughts, feelings, or actions. One card. Thoughts, feelings, or actions. Doesn't matter which one. Let me know, spirit. For Leo and their partner. For the week. The, 20, the 23rd through the 29th. Hello, March. Hello, March. Because it's being recorded today. But it took place last week. All right, they're angry, they're heartbroken. Thoughts, feelings, and actions, I think this is coming more as a qualified thought. More as a qualified thought. So can you see that? So, frigid, chilly, cold personality, cold-hearted, getting iced out, not happy, situation needs time to thaw. So that is what they're feeling right now. This is a, a tough situation. I'm just letting you know, though, that they are going to come. They want a new beginning with you. And this two of wands is the courage to talk to you. Um, in the deck, it is illustrated as a passionate talk or a heated debate. So you see two faces. There's going to be a talk. And the talk is going to be about this ace of pentacles. Let's start over. Let's start again, please. This time is going to be different. And I do feel like with the world aspect being here, because this is the major arcana for the world, cycle, that old, that old cycle of this 10 of wands is gone. I would like to reset it and go into our newness 
okay? And that also could mean travel. So they might plan a trip for you guys. And um, when you go on a trip, they're going to hit you with this. You're probably going to feel very guilty. Let's see what the angels have to say. All right, so trust. Now, you can take that either way. You could trust that your decision to walk away was the right one, or you could trust that you need to give this person another chance. They're coming, regardless. Let's see. Uh-oh, we have no. This is a popular card, no, but this is not the firm, no. So once I get that, I have to pull another card to see. Show me, spirit. What do you have to say about this situation? What is a no? Okay, that is if you believe. So... When the soft no comes out, this isn't a hard no. Then you get the next card, and the next card is if you believe. So that's not necessarily a no. That is a gather more information. The other card that came out is a if you believe. So that's one card, although it's two. Let's get this last card. All right, I'm not going to flip that over yet. Hold on. All right, hold on. Don't stop. Take it as it resonates. You know what it means for you. Okay? Don't stop. Finally, we flip this over. Romance. Oh, well, I feel sorry for the new person because it looks like when this person comes back to you and says what they have to say, you don't get into don't get yourself in the situation, um, Leo. Don't do it. Mess around and have folks throwing hands over you because you're going to accept this romance because you already love this person. The new person is cool, but I don't think they really stand a chance. I hate to say that. So if you are dating or just seeing the Leo that has come clean with you about the fact that they just broke up with somebody, that's dang. First of all, you shouldn't be messing with anybody who just broke up with somebody a month ago. Like, who does that? I'm just saying. Like, I, I just don't resonate with that. Um, I think that as adults, we need to make better decisions. And we have no business leading people on. People, karma. I thought this was America, people. We don't want that. So, if you are a cross watcher and you have broken up with your Leo and you resonate with this, they're going to accept your offer. Okay? If you are a cross watcher for a Leo and you want to find out what they're, if you're cross watching, no, if you are, a, hold on, if, <laughs> if you are cross watching for a Leo and you were hoping that your energy was going to come through today and I'm telling you that their ex is, is pissed off that they're talking to you, I would run for the hills because if this is if this is new, no, this isn't gonna work um, because they're gonna they're gonna double dip. So put them out of their misery and go and find your person. Uh, you know if that qualifies. I'm just saying. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I am gonna leave you with this beautiful world card to close you out. Um, thank you so much for being patient. This is being recorded at the top of the morning, but due to my connectivity issues, you might not see it until later on today. I apologize for that as well. Um, again, I can't wait to see you guys next week. I normally start the new energy readings on Wednesday of that same week and get through all of the numbers for the top five. I publish the top five. So you can see whether your zodiac sign is going to be extended. Um, that is on the community tab. I also put those results on Facebook, okay? So um, if you at Marvelous Madame on Facebook, if you're interested ever in when I'm going to record the weeklies, I always start on Wednesday of the new week and end that Saturday, okay? That's the schedule. <laughs> it didn't work out, and that's doable because I've been doing it. So I don't understand. I guess this was just Mercury in retrograde. Bye, Leos. I'll see you next week.